Hello everyone, welcome back to Knowing Architecture. Today I'm going to show you how to create a blueprint in Photoshop that is usually printed in uh, Ammonia printer. So let me show you an example how it looks. To create this effect, we need some old uh, paper texture. Uh, as you can see, we have some splashes, irregularities. Uh, as you can see here, we have some bumps and all in the background. So we need an old paper texture for this to create this effect. All right, let's dive in. For this example, I'm gonna use uh, an A3 size paper. You can use any kind of size. The procedure for uh, rest of the sizes will be the same. I'm gonna leave the rest of the settings as it is. <coughs> to create that effect, we need to have uh, some old paper texture as, uh, like this. I'm gonna scale it and fit to the canvas. All right, let's uh, rename this to background. Uh, as you can see the texture is in colored uh, we need to convert it in uh, convert it to black and white so I'm gonna apply an adjustment layer of black and white and clip it to the below layer <coughs> all right uh, now we have uh, let's unlock this layer and uh, rename it to blue print tint all right let's bring it about to here and uh, apply a uh, layer style with uh, color overlay. I'm gonna use this hex code for this color 00009 for this. As you can see, nothing has happened. Uh, we need to fill this uh, layer with solid black. So I'm gonna select all and alt backspace. I have filled it with black, but due to the layer style, uh, we are getting the color overlay. The reason for this is uh, it's a non-restrictable. You can change the blueprint uh, color according to according to your need. You can uh, manipulate it. Uh, so this is the non-destructive way. Uh, let me select this uh, layer and uh, drag and uh, drawing. We have uh, all right. As you can see, nothing has happened. Just you need to click this blueprint and uh, change the blend mode to screen. All right. As you can see, we have our blueprint, but uh, we are not able to see the background. We need to change this drawing blending mode to uh, linear burn. That's it, guys. You can see now we have the blueprint. This is non destructive. Uh, you can replace the drawing. Let me uh, rename this layer as a drawing. All right. Uh, let me lock this layer as a uh, if in case we uh, accidentally moved it. Let me show you that as well. Let me select and move it. See, uh, these things happen. That is the reason I'm gonna lock it, <coughs> lock its position. Next, if you want to change the background, just double click the background and replace this image and uh, save it. It will be updated here. Let me show you in drawing. I'm going to replace the drawing. Every time you don't want, need, don't want to do this uh, procedure again and again. So save this and uh, just you need to replace this smart object. See, I have this drawing. Let me ha I am I am having another one. Let me drag it. Let me scale and fit it. There we go. And you have to remember that this should be a single layer image as we have a reference image. Uh, this is a smart object. We, it need to be a single. Just uh, press Control E to merge all the layer and flatten it and save it. As you can see, the drawing is replaced. You no need to do any procedure, anything. Just make it once and save it for yourself that's it guys uh, thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching do like and share subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the latest updates thank you